Hi, Triple D crew. I hope all is well today with you. So, I have a little story to tell you um, today, but it has my tidbit in there somewhere, okay? So, um, it's up to you to find it and just take it out of it, alright? So, I'll be right back. It's a beautiful day. Um, I'm at work, um, but I took a break. I took my hour break so that I could do this video and also so I can take a breather because I'm tired. <laughs> um, so I'm here sitting in my car. Um, as usual, I came out here and I prayed and I am um, now about to drop this tidbit in this story, right? So I was listening to something on the radio and um, it sounds so good outside, like the breeze and everything. Oh, let me show you guys. Oh, let me show you. listening to this um radio program and i listen to when i'm going to work in the mornings and they had this story on there it was about um a man he heard about this red bird this rare red bird right that could speak five languages so the man set out on this quest to find this red bird right for two years the man set out on this quest to find this red bird so it ended up that him find the red bird right he found the red bird and so he found the red bird when him find the red bird now him send the red bird back home right so it took him two days to get home so um the two days it took him to get home when he reached home now him ask him wife and say honey um did you know a package come to the house and she said yes and he said was there a bird in it and she said yes and so <laughs> he said so where's the bird she said the bird is in the oven so he said what the bird is in the oven so she said yes she so he went on to tell her that this bird is a rare bird speak five different languages and you know she cooked the bird so she said well the bird should have speak up so i tell this story to say right when you are talented when you have gifts right you have to use them right so this bird spoke five different languages and you're telling me if the wife has said to you say me go cook your book oven and you understand english <laughs> you yeah, understand English as the bird right you know then you should have speak up or right? even if you don't even understand English I never know if English are one of the languages we know right so even if still somebody has speak you speak back with whatever language you know or understand right or just to clarify yourself right so me talk about the bird now so, um, so this story is to say that whatever gifts, whatever talents that God has placed in you, please use them. Don't let them go to waste. Don't let it be like the, 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 um, the, uh, parable in the Bible with the man that owned the vineyard and he gave out gifts to his workmen and everybody built on these gifts except for one, one buried the talent, Right. The one that got, what, two talents, I think, um, multiplied it. The one that had, what, five talents multiplied it, right? Somebody came back with something. Somebody added to what was given to them, right? Somebody made the best of the talents that they had. So, if you have talents, if you have skills, use them. 
use them don't bury them the word said let your light so shine so that others can see and glorify god in heaven so if you have gifts if you have talents if you have anything let it shine all right and it goes back to something um it was a couple years ago maybe about four years ago um we were having youth convention at my church and the um guest speaker came in and he said to me you know everybody was called at the altar after the service and he said to me that god has poured so much into you and he's gonna stop pouring into you because everything he has poured into you you now have to start pouring into other people and i never knew what that meant until now because i'm a shy person i am a private person and i always have thoughts like these and i always would share with my friends or with dwight um and you know just write it down all of these things are in my my little diary right i write my thoughts down but when i thought about doing this video today that same word came back to me that you need to start pouring out to others what god has poured into you so this is me taking this step by starting this youtube channel in order to pour out what God has poured into me, into others. And like I said, I am growing in love with God, right? From my other video, I'm growing in love. I'm still growing in love, in knowledge, in understanding, in wisdom, right? I'm growing, right? So I don't know everything. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna even claim to so know everything. You know, I know everything right but what god has given me is wisdom and understanding about certain things and whenever he placed something in me i want to share it with others i want to share it with the world so they can have an understanding of who god is and how he works because he's a mysterious god he's a he's an awesome god i'm telling you he's a he's a great god um so I hope you got the tidbit out of that story, right? <laughs> Cause I, I don't know if I, I, I'm hoping that the wisdom of God and the knowledge of God will kick in so that you can get the tidbit out of this story, right? So please don't waste your talents, don't hide it. What God has poured into you, right? Pour it into other people. God didn't give you a gift and your talents for you to sit on them. God didn't give you a gift and your talents for you to waste them, right? He gave it to you so you can bless others and you can most of all bless him so that he can get the glory in all of this, right? You have he has to get the glory. And you know, as children of God, our aim and our goal is to be disciples on this earth, right? We're supposed to be fishers of men. We're supposed to draw men unto God. And with the gifts and talents that he has given unto us, we use those to draw men unto God. All right? So, yes, I'm not preaching. I'm not preaching. I'm just sharing a little tidbit with you today. All right? God bless you, Triple T crew. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you soon. Oh God.